swear I didn't. I never told him anything. Oh. Smoke? What's it been? Ten years? More? Still can't talk after all this time. That old bastard really didn't put on you, didn't they? But compared to your old man, ours was a fucking dream. We were just kids last time I saw you. And I've got all that in the air saying give him a chance. Have a read of this. Churchill's place was robbed last night. Got away with the king's ransom. Jewelry, fine china, family heirlooms. But Churchill's far more worried about this. This was stolen from his nightstand as he slept. Looks like a briefcase. Well, it's not. It's Churchill's dispatch box, stuffed with government secrets. Now, God forbid it falls into the wrong hands. Which is where we come in. Have a seat. We'll talk business. The fuck are you waiting for? Sit down. Toast. To old friends. The document's in the wrong box. But if ever a British or a cover agent, never mind. Whoever's got it could blow the lid off the Empire. Start a new war. So Churchill's asked me to personally see that he gets it back. And he won't be able to show the company handsomely for his struggles. Luckily, I was able to locate it. My man in London was due to deliver it here this morning. He called me before he set off. No one's seen I and I heard of him since. One way or another, someone's got to him. Now I need a trustworthy soldier to go down there and find the truth. I normally ask my brother, but this needs a surgeon. I'm a butcher. Just be that man when I've seen your war record. Have a read. Paint a grim picture. But I can change that. Now, Arthur, he remembers what you did for him back in the old day. But I'm not Arthur. How do I know you're anything but a traitor? Who's got this coming to him? man betrayed me. He's in there. Take care of him. Job's yours. I'll see to it your name is cleared. Can't see Polly the letter, shall we? Or we could just fuck off. It's up to you. It's not true. I'm a good man. Ask Abarama. Oh, no. oh, oh, oh. All right. All right. Oh, oh. All right. All right. I've been talking to the Bolsheviks. But I was going to tell Tommy. I swear.
actually touch anyone. <laughs> the Peaky Boys had to know what had happened when they ran them off. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> Please, stop! <laughs>